Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my highlighter collection. So I've done one of these collection videos before. I did my face mask collection. The reason that I really wanted to do this, personally I love these videos, one and then two, I just wanted to show y'all more of my makeup collection but in depth and I really liked my face mask collection because I literally reviewed every single one of my face masks. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing in this video. Rich Loves and Kathleen Lights are the two main ones who I've seen that I really love these lady eyes. Um, Kathleen just kind of like, she actually takes you into her, her makeup collection, but I feel like that's not going to be as good for me just because literally all of my highlighters are in this one thing, so it's not like my store just anything special. So yeah, I'm just going to be talking about every single one of them. I'm just going to show you all what I have and tell y'all if I like it or not. Most of my highlighters I won't be keeping because I just love highlighters. This is only my second time filming on this camera, like a real sit down video, so I hope this lighting is okay. I'm not wearing a lip color. I did film this makeup look and this is now my third video with this makeup on, but it's fine. If y'all wanna see every single highlighter I own, then just keep watching. First, I'm going to start with normal pressed highlighters. This is actually an eyeshadow essence eyeshadow and snowflake. I used to use this a lot more. Now I don't really use it too much. It's just a little too white for me. Like if you're paler than me, I definitely recommend this. At the same time, I haven't really seen this online or anything anymore. It's really creamy. There's no shimmer or glitter in it at all. So I love this. Let's just put a little bit of this on so y'all can see how... I also would use this to like lighten highlighters, but like normally when I use a white highlighter now, I use it from my Carly Bible palette, and they're pretty much the same thing. The Carly Bible one is a lot more intense. This is the Carly Bible one, and this is the Snowflake. I don't really know. You can see for yourself. Let's go to the whole opposite end of the spectrum, where one is too dark for me. <laughs> Wet n Wild Oozy Brunch. I used to use this a lot more once again. Before I figured out that it was too dark for me. I think I would mix this with the Essence one as well. It's just like really golden. Super pretty. Most of my highlighters are drugstore. I literally only have one. Yeah, one high-end highlighter. Sorry. Yeah. I definitely recommend this just if you're a little tanner, but it's like nice and metallic and I feel like there's not really much shimmer in this one either. It's just plain metallic. That's what it looks like. Once you mix all those colors together, it just makes a nice regular golden color. We'll also do another one that's a little too dark, and this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. If you all watched my like old everyday makeup routine, you know that I mixed this with Essence Snowflake. All these I'm kind of building up. It's a lot better for me to use whenever I don't have makeup on, so like, because my face is a little darker than my neck it's so gorgeous for like no makeup makeup days or if you just like a natural highlighter or if you have mature skin whenever i do my mom's makeup i use this on her and it looks beautiful because she's like 10 times tanner than me it doesn't emphasize any texture i also recommend this one even if you're like a shade darker than me like half a shade mariah leonard said that hers had like chunky glitter in it like just little pieces of glitter so i don't know if they've reformulated this i don't know why they would do that you can build this up to be pretty intense now on to wet and wild high night i have precious petals but it's in my little pile to donate so i'm not gonna like get that out and swatch it but it's like way way too dark for me it's like literally like a bronzy shade on me i have these two from wet n wild blossom glow this was limited edition but i literally think it's still on their website now and this is the sweetest bling i really don't know why i got both it's because everyone was like saying the sweetest bling was like the best pink highlighter ever this is just the heart and that's around the heart this is it mixed together mixed all together this is what it looks like i really only do this whenever i'm doing like super pinky looks this one i'm wearing today and this is probably one of my favorite highlighters so beautiful and creamy and it doesn't emphasize texture there is a little more shimmer in this one but just look at that if you want like a good more natural pinky undertone highlight and you're pale like me i love this so much like this is my go-to pink highlighter and it's not like overly pink it's just like if you want a nice like white creamy pink like light pink. And the last like normal highlighter, Makeup Revolution 
Shimmer Brick in Radiant. I also used to use this a lot more. It does have quite a bit of shimmer in it. I do like this a lot because it comes with so many shades in it. This is super blinding as well. It just has a lot more shimmer in it. If you don't really mind the shimmer factor to it, then I would recommend this one as well because I know a lot of people who do love this. The only thing I don't like is this white right here isn't a true white. It's literally like yellow gold. The only one that I would be like... You have to get this one. This is Button Lab Blossom Globe. On to more baked highlighters. So first I'm going to start out with these AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighters. I have Loud and Cream Puff. So there's a little spot on my hand where it's pretty wet. These are baked so they're wet dry highlighters. The bottom one is Cloud and the top one is Cream Puff. So they are a lot prettier, I feel like, when they're wet. When they're dry, I just feel like it's like kind of like dusty shimmer. If you've watched any of this video, then you know I don't like shimmer. I just feel like the shimmers kind of like flick everywhere because it is kind of like a drier kind of powder. Like I did not expect it whenever I swatched it because it is kind of dry. That's the finger swatch. They're blinding if they're wet. I love them when they're wet, but I just feel like... You need to use them wet or like at least like spray setting spray on your face first and then put it on or put it on the brush and spray the brush. I don't really know. Just if you go in with it dry, it will like, they'll be kind of like shimmer everywhere. When I first used them, literally nothing came off. If you watched my haul, I'm pretty sure in that video, I was like, wow, nothing comes off. But I ended up scraping the top off and it works so much better. If you have any baked highlighters that you feel like don't work, then definitely scrape the top off because it's worth a try. The e.l.f. baked highlighter in Moonlit Pearls. As you can see, mine is broken. That's that. This is just such a pretty highlighter. I just never use it because it's broken and I know I like should just get another one. Not even that my skin is wet. It's just a little more moisturized because I just wiped it off. But... Yeah, look at that. And that works for my pale skin. I just feel like uh, baked highlighters have a lot of shimmer. The other e.l.f. highlighter I have is Pinktastic. And if you watched that full face of first impressions or whatever that was, you know, it's too dark. That's where it is. But see how light that is compared to that one. It's literally the same formula. This is a baked blush. It's super metallic. And these are like probably one of the best baked highlighters I've tried because most baked highlighters just don't impress me at all. I did, once again, scrape the top off. I'm also going to do this ColourPop highlighter right now because I don't really know what I would put this under. This is Lunch Money. If y'all know ColourPop highlighters at all, it's like cream, but it's also a powder. I never used this ColourPop highlighter. I used it a lot when I first got it. As you can see, I've hit pan. It's just not as blinding as I would like. Like, on my hand, it looks really good, but I feel like when I put it on my face, I would rather use that as, like, a base than an actual, like, highlighter. I do really want to try Flexitarian because I've heard that it's literally, like, the best thing ever for pale skin. Other than that, I probably wouldn't get any ColourPop highlighters. I mean, I just need to figure out how to use them. If you have any tips, just leave them down below. None of these so far I, like, actually, like, hate. Like, I can't use. I'm gonna move on to, like, Into Contour if they're in a palette with, like, other stuff. Now, this one. This Essence Contour Powder. This highlighter literally mattifies your skin. It's not like it is meant to be like a powder. I think I actually thought that's what this was at first, was a powder. You can kind of see like barely anything. It does more just dispersing shimmer all over your cheek than it actually does like highlighting. Like it really doesn't do anything on your face. Like it kind of just mattifies the area, honestly. Don't really like the bronzer either because the bronzer like doesn't do anything. Like it looks a little darker on my hand, but like doesn't do anything. So I definitely don't recommend this for the bronzer or the highlighter. Then I have these two highlighters in the NYX contour palette. These were like the first two highlighters I ever used. Ice Queen and this is Nectar. I used to mix these a lot or I would just use Ice Queen. Nectar really reminds me a lot of the Essence Your Nude highlighter. Um, but that's those two colors and they're really nice. These don't have any shimmer in them. It does have some in it, but they're really like natural looking highlighters. They're nice to be in this contour palette because I used them a lot, but they're not like mind-blowing. Back then it was like 
these are the best highlighters ever because then you have like everything other like palette of it with other stuff i have is obviously the carly bible palette that's what all the highlighters look like you could use any of these eyeshadows with highlighters as well i've literally like talked about these so many times these are probably my favorite highlighters in my collection like if you were to get one thing out of this whole video it would definitely be this palette the eyeshadows are bomb as well you have like everything that you need regular bronzy kind of tan shade it's actually just like a hair too dark for me and then you have your pinky shade and then you have your white that you can mix in with any of them and then you have like a duo chrome kind of pinky purpley blue then you have like a warm orange and then this is like a super deep bronze so you literally have something for every skin tone and every makeup look these are so good they last so long they're so creamy so pigmented so blinding i love those highlighters so much now i'm moving on to like regular palettes so this is also one that i would recommend as well if you're gonna pick up one thing and you don't want all those eyeshadows this is the flower beauty shimmer and strobe highlighting palette the only thing i wish they would do is just like cut this section off there was a brush in here i feel like these are the three tones that you need in your highlighter collection just your standard highlighter and then your pink one and then your bronzier tanner one these oh they're just like liquid metal this is probably my favorite highlighter palette ever they don't have shimmer in them at all actually i think if you were going to purchase one highlighter from this video it would be this like you have to get this and it's so great for eyeshadows it's it's just it's just amazing another one that i really like i'm not like as passionate about it but is the nyx strobe of genius illuminating palette you literally have everything in here like if you're starting out with highlighter or you just want like one palette for everything this is what you need to go for because you can build them up to be crazy intense and i love how these three shades that you're going to use more often are bigger they're more colorful shades up here you still have but they're not huge where you're never going to use them these colorful ones aren't too you can't really see it but my favorite colorful one is definitely the lilac one because it's literally like looks matte if only they made highlighters like this like white highlighters like this because like see how just like nice and metallic that is but there's no shimmer it's literally just looks like a matte powder until you blend it out you have your more champagne pop kind of color then your more blush kind of coppery color and then your just standard white vanilla the hand swatches aren't really doing these ones justice they do have a little more shimmer to them but you don't really see it because it all stays in one place it doesn't just disperse everywhere even for this yellow shade i will use this like just to warm up a highlighter this color is great for like a blush chopper because it is a little dark for me when i was talking about single highlighters really the only one that i got all excited about was this one when it comes to my highlighter palettes like girl i am passionate about them now we're gonna end on a kind of a eh, note i love casey holmes but this is the smashbox spotlight palette in pearl it literally has casey's name on here nowhere like not on the front not on the back it's literally only on the package which kind of makes me really mad because like why is it not on here like okay it's besides the point it's packaging these are the three shades and if y'all have watched my channel for a while you'll have already heard me kind of talk about this but i'm not the biggest fan of this because I love this first shade. This first shade is so gorgeous. Like, it literally is, like, perfect. It's so gorgeous because there's no shimmer in it whatsoever. It just literally looks like your skin. Then the second and third one. The second one also doesn't really have any shimmer in it at all. The second one is way too dark for me. And then this third one has literally chunky glitter in it. I do not know why that's disgusting the only one that i can use is the first one that's kind of why i regret buying this just because i spent what like 35 dollars on this i only can use one shade so i really barely reach for this at all if i ever got a tan this would be the first highlighter to use but i will never touch this one now i'm going to move on to liquid highlighters city color glowing complexion illuminating cream i don't really use this at all i probably should just get rid of this because i just never use this there's glitter in this as well and it's like really dark for me like it's just it's not the best if i ever use it then i use it for the four foundation but i haven't done that in like
forever. I have the two e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip Spotlight and Golden Peach. I like these. There's literally liquid every time that I use them. I'm just like, why? Whenever the water and the cream mixes, it just gets all gross. There's not too much shimmer in the um, spotlight one. Like, it's gorgeous and it would be so pretty for mixing and stuff. If you're, like, tan you really like a good golden color then they are a little sticky that doesn't really bother me these are best to put under your foundation or mix in with your foundation so then they would kind of counteract each other they're okay but mm, me the last highlighter i have is the maybelline master strobing liquid in light i feel like whenever i use liquid highlight on top of powder it just doesn't shine through as much because there's already that powder down so it doesn't like show like wet it already is like set i don't really know it's super creamy i really like this a lot i would just wish i would use it more it does look like it has some more shimmer in it i feel like i didn't really talk about each highlighter very well i hope i did because like i just feel like i didn't do a very good job i recommend all three of these palettes Wet wild blossom glow the elf baked highlighter that's me showing you and reviewing all my highlighters that i have if y'all want more collection videos i really love watching these videos i personally want to do more i really hope y'all enjoyed this video leave your favorite highlighters down below because i would love to try some more i really want to try this soph x highlighter palette because i've heard that's so good please leave any video recommendations down below anything you want me to do thank you so much for watching bye